Okay. Uh, so, hello, uh, I'm Gleb. I work at Digital Asset. Uh, we are using Nix for our development environment, and I wanted to uh, give you a quick rundown of our DevEnv. Uh, as uh, Rob uh, previously presented, like it's a good idea, good way to introduce Nix in some uh, companies to wrap it in something which just works very clean and users don't have to understand what's inside. So that's what exactly what we do. Uh, all, all of the kudos go to UC Maki, who actually did all the hard work. I'm just maintaining it nowadays. Uh, so let's say uh, I am a new developer in, in our company and I start on my first day. Uh, I get instruction, install DIRENV, Jonas, awesome tool, thank you. Uh, and then uh, uh, I check out the code, I go to, oh, actually, let me assume that I don't have Nix. Uh, installed, I go to the our repo. It, it tries to load that, load the development environment, but it tells me that Nix installation might be invalid and asks, asks me to install uh, our so-called devenv. So I do that uh, with the tool which just does it for me. I run it, I wait. So uh, it will take like 30 seconds on this connection. And why we're doing this? Uh, so why this DevEnv is different from others? Because uh, probably many of you have something similar in your companies. Uh, our company is very diverse in terms of technological choices. There are people who do Isabel uh, theorem proving. There are people who are doing Python scripts or JavaScript and everything in between. So I, we cannot just use Nix shell because that would mean that everybody have to download everything and everything is like 10 gigs of tooling. Uh, so we had to solve this somehow so people don't have to wait for like an hour every single time we update our Nix packages snapshot. So we had to, uh, we implemented, use implemented a lazy layer on top of Nix tooling to kind of uh, download uh, tools on demand when need be. So uh, while I was waiting, uh, the whole thing downloaded. So let's uh, force DRAM to reload it. Now I have, uh, my path have changed and a couple of other variables have changed. And if, uh, if I would like to, uh, let's say call call SBT to build some Scala. I can see that SBT now is uh, loaded from DevEnv bin SBT. And actually when I call it, there is, it's a wrapper script which downloads a bunch of things which are necessary to run SBT uh, and does some, and this is done completely in the background. If I run SBT again, actual SBT runs right away. It's just slow, that SBT. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> uh, and the same goes for things like JQ or uh, any other tools, JO, or we even put HTOP inside because, I don't know, there is nothing better on macOS. And we use support Linux and macOS. Uh, so we need to make sure that all DevEnv tools are actually uh, portable or, can, sorry, we have different versions on Linux and macOS and, and they work the same. Use the same. We use the same DevEnv for the same set of tools on workstations and on CI, so when you something works on your machine, it will work on CI. And uh, we don't, many people go in the direction of containers, we solve it with Nix. Uh, okay, uh, so, and uh, I wanted to, uh, I said that I wanted to make this as clean, as invisible as, as possible from users. So for example, if somebody wants to add a new tool, uh, it's actually, it's extremely trivial. They need to create a, a, a stupid wrapper, a symlink in a directory, and add one line to expose this tool into the DevEnv, and that's it. That's it. That's all the user needs to do, and it's completely transparent for them. Uh, the problem is how do they find the appropriate attribute path, but th that's why we have a Slack channel where, where we help them with that if need be. But many, many non-Nixers have contributed significantly uh, in terms of set of packages which you expose. Uh, so, and this thing is used by like 95% of the company. Uh, people are pretty happy with it, except for every single macOS upgrade. It's a disaster. <laughs> uh, so I've been working on this, m most of this conference. Uh, yeah, and uh, I'm, s I mean, we're happy with Nix. We'll definitely be using it. I'm hiring. Uh, we use Nix, Haskell, uh, we use Buck and Basil. So if you want to work uh, on these topics in London, New York, Zurich, or Budapest, talk to me. Thank you.